And this car has been sitting for a couple of days. Um, you can see it's it's dried out over here on the seat, but you know stains remain and you know stuff gunk in the seats. I need to you know vacuum it at least. Um, all the eBay say buyers say, oh I want it, I want it, I want it, but nobody seems to show. Um, anyway, so let's uh, put the key in now. It's only got you know, one key here and. It seems to be bent in one direction or the other, so it's kind of like bent up that way. Oh, I guess it's kind of bent down. I think when the key is what bent, I think it's when it's bent up. It's bent up, it seems to, there we go. All right, now it's been several days since I started it. And, yeah, so it's just a little tiny bit rough when, uh, when I first started. Um, here, I'll roll down the windows. Obviously, I do not know if the heated seats work. Um, there's this shifter. It's got like little finger grips on the back. This horn pad here. Um, and uh, the horn pad is a, it's a little, um, it's a little, uh, Perfect, obviously. You can see the stitching coming off of it. It says inter add on it down there. Um, but you see that it's still got, even underneath here, a little Mercedes logo. So uh, I guess that's just this. It's, it's recessed. So I guess the. Oh, interesting. It's like the horn doesn't work. I never knew that. Interesting. Um, but yeah, this horn pad is you know, a little rough, but. You know, it could certainly be, be fixed, I think. Um, I'll just leave that on for now. Uh, it does have this traffic controller thing, which is really rare, but it looks like this knob is broken on the inside. But that's a pretty, pretty rare thing. And one of my other Euros actually has the instructions uh, for that. Um, the woods, you know, it's got its cracks in it, obviously. Uh, the ashtray, I don't see any significant cracks in there. Um, you know, most of the, I guess most of the wood, there's a little crack right there, but most of the other wood seems all right. Um, so the visors still have their tabs intact, but you know, they're, the whole car really needs a good cleaning and I just haven't gotten to it. Um, I put this hard top on it though. It's, it's not a band match color wise. There's a, a door check missing. I have door checks, but you know, I, Got around to it, obviously. Uh, swinging at me. Um, the uh, this door panel right here seems to be falling off. Uh, I really think the thing to do with this is to take off the kit and um, and put on and, and, and the Euro bumper, the Euro bumper underneath there. Uh, I have another headlight. I haven't gotten around to it. It was a fin. I, I took it off because I was going to sell it to somebody, but I actually putting the exact one right back on the car. Um, the tires have uh, plenty of tread, but they're, they're old. You know, there's tons of, tons of tread. There's toilet proxies. Um, both the door panels are like that. Uh, so, so this here, I, I cleaned this out, and it doesn't look like there's any rot in there, and I got that cleaned out, but the, this door itself has some rot on it. Now, I did get another one of these from a parts car, so, center. Um, I had that one taken apart. Uh, there's, you know, lots of surface rust. You know, this thing really needs to be uh, taken down. The, the top that I had that I threw on there is, is filthy in the back. Um, but anyway, you can hear the exhaust. Look at this tail. Really? 
expensive. But so let's go ahead and uh, take it for a ride around the block. It's five minutes long. I better shut this off.